hey guys welcome to a new video and in this video i'll show you easy way to fix a seamless background or a paper background and also to add a light window effect on your background so just watch and leave a comment leave a like and also subscribe okay so let's get into the video so right here i'm going to insert our image to photoshop right here it's going to open up it's going to open up our camera raw panel i'm not going to do much here because uh the lighting of the picture the image looks perfect to me so i'm just going to change the profile to portrait yeah and just open i'm not going to focus on retouching today but i'll just show you how i um, work on the background and uh, add some effect to it so right here i'm using a portrait background on this picture and i have some extra spaces here and i'm going to fill them up so there are two ways i'm going to do this i could use my uh, mark you to to select and drag and i could also use my um, content aware to replace them so let me show you the first one i'll draw with my mark you to rectangular mark you to and then click on move to to shift this layer while i'm doing that i have to hold down shift if i don't hold down shift it's going to look like this so i have to hold down shift and pull to my right and i'll do the same for the left make sure you pick from good area and then click on this this area i'm going to show and you pull to your left like so press ok and then this little area you can also pull from up down to fill up as you can see some part of the dress is not has been covered so i can use my history brush to bring those areas back this is the first method to fix your background those extra layers of the background and now i'm going to take it back and show you the other method you could click this select this area and select this area as well and then click and fill you see this panel press ok content hour press ok and there you go uh, you could also notice there's some extra uh, pattern here from the dress so i'll use my patch to to take this off and replace it with the good side of the background and there you go you have your complete background filled up so i'll go straight to smoothening the background and making it uh, look neater so i would duplicate this layer again and i'll go to select subject and photoshop is going to automatically select the subject from the background though it's not 100 percent correct like so if you check you see it's not 100 percent selective so you have to take note of this and use your lasso polygonal lasso tool to complete them we are still going to make some other adjustments around the edges of the picture so we've selected the image out of the background so we're going to right click inside the selected image and select inverse so it's selecting the background now i'm going to click um, ctrl x to cut as you can see and ctrl v it creates a new layer and then i put this 
new layer which is the background below i can rename this to background and this to the image yes so right here we have a background if i remove the visibility you can see this and you have the image separately though it's not 100 percent cropped out you can see some edges are falling out so we'll go to this background layer and click filter go to blur and gaussian blur we're going to use a radius of 100 a radius of 100 and click ok and then we'll go to mixer brush too and then we have to blend the background to look totally smooth as you can see there's still some shadows here the light still falls to the background so you're just going to clear this off with your mixer brush so i'm going to go i'm going to use a bigger brush because it covers more areas in the background so i'm just going to smoothen out the background carefully don't try to do it too fast because it's it takes uh, a lot of uh, memory to to make this adjustment on your system so you go over it slowly gradually you can see the effect i'm going to zoom to the feet areas and try to smoothen the floor so there you go you can see the background is already looking very clean and neat but yet there's still something to check out for right here i'm still going to zoom to zoom into the picture and check all the edges of the picture they're not looking really feathered so you can see these marked areas here you can see they're not well feathered there's no big problem all you have to do is go to your image and if you check you can still see those areas of the previous background they are still here you can use your eraser tool or your polygonal lasso tool to select those areas so i'm going to use eraser tool first i'm going to clean out this area gradually you have to be careful so it doesn't touch uh, the skin of your image yeah you can either use your eraser tool or you use your polygonal lasso tool to just select these areas and then delete or backspace and let's see what we've got here you can see it's looking neater now then if uh, this background covers covers the images like some part of the image are being covered you have to use your, your eraser tool to clean out the background because when you blow a background it kind of extend it's kind of it kind of extend to other areas especially on the edges so i'm going to clean these edges of the background that are falling into the image i'm just going to use eraser tool to clean it and i'll check my image from head you can see some part of of the head area is sticking up by the background or rather it's been cropped out of the image i have to use my history brush to bring them back okay you can see some part of the hair are being uh, taken by the background so i'm going to erase those area like so so i can still see the hair like that and then i'll go through the body to check if 
some areas are not well selected I'm going to just erase them I have to select image if I see them and background if the background is covering them like this you can see the feet is being covered by the background so I'm going to use my eraser tool to clean this off and then you can see shadows may looking at this picture you can see that uh, after doing the Gaussian blow a lot of the shadows have disappeared and we need shadows to make the picture look real so we have to clean out we have to erase some part of the background so we can still see the shadows so it won't look like the picture is actually you know uh, baseless so I'm going to clean out some parts of the 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 floor especially where the shadows are so they can still look it can still look real so here you go I've cleaned some parts of the background you can see that so I'm looking carefully around the image if there's any part of the image that's that's been cleaned out so I have to bring them back like so I think my image is ready and background is clean so I'm going to show you how to insert um, a window light effect on your pictures still on this process I have this um, downloaded a, a window effect you can go to Google and put out uh, just type in window lights and shadow overlay effect and you get all this you can download them and you can also um, place them on your image so I have this tree already downloaded I'm going to use this for the sake of this video I'm just going to drag and drop and I'll pull it up you can see some tags here I'm going, I'm going to crop that off I have to rasterize I'm going to crop this off like so so there you go you see uh, the image I added this image behind the the image layer as you can see so I'm going to change the blending mode to let's say soft lights or multiply uh, let's say multiply I'm going to use multiply for this particular one I'm going to extend this this shadow so the idea of this um, effect is more like um, when you're using a, an optical snoot and when you don't when you don't have it yet you can actually do some tricks with your photoshop so here i have my image what i'm going to do now i'm going to erase this um, edges so it will fit in with the background like this i'm just going to erase the edges like this and you can see the image is kind of a bit darker than the background so i have to reduce the opacity until it looks better as you can see we're all set looking beautiful you can see the light effect still on the background and i just noticed there's still some part of the previous layer on the image i'm going to clean this out with my eraser too on the image so i'm going to clean this i just noticed out and there you go looking good so this is how i fix my seamless background and also add effect to the background layers so thanks for watching i'll see you on the next video